On Sunday, August 17, 2014, at 2.28 a.m. Central Daylight Time, two Union Pacific freight trains collided in Hoxie, Arkansas. The southbound train, IMASNL-16, departed Dexter, Missouri on August 16, 2014, at 6.31 p.m. The northbound train, IQNLPI-17, departed North Little Rock, Arkansas, on August 16, 2014, at 10.57 p.m. This close-up view shows the location of signals along the track in the area of the accident. The southbound train was scheduled to stop on main track 1 before the red signal controlling the turnout at control point CPY-229. The northbound train was scheduled to divert onto main track 2 and continue its trip. At about 2.23 a.m., the horn from the southbound train began to blow in preparation to cross seven highway railroad grade crossings, shown here in yellow. The horn remained active, sounding uninterrupted grade crossing cadences for a total of four minutes and six seconds. This is an example of a horn's grade crossing cadence. At about 2.25 a.m., the southbound train passed an advanced approach signal displaying a flashing yellow aspect located approximately 2.2 miles from the stop signal at CPY-229. The southbound train crew was required to reduce their train speed to no more than 40 miles per hour. The event recorder data showed that the southbound train continued past the signal at a speed of 37 miles per hour with the throttle in position 8, the highest power position. At about 2.25 a.m., at a speed of 48 miles per hour, the northbound train passed an advanced approach signal displaying a flashing yellow aspect located approximately 2 miles before the control point. The northbound train crew was required to reduce speed to 40 miles per hour. The northbound train crew reduced their speed as they passed the signal. At about 2.27 a.m., the southbound train passed an approach signal displaying a solid yellow aspect, located approximately 1.1 miles from the stop signal at CPY-229. The southbound train crew was required to reduce train speed to 30 miles per hour to comply with the signal indication and be prepared to stop before the train passed the stop signal at CPY-229. When the southbound train passed the approach signal, event recorder data showed the train was moving at 42 miles per hour with the throttle in position 7. The horn from the southbound train stopped sounding the grade crossing cadence about 800 feet after passing the 7th grade crossing at South Hickory. At about 2.28 a.m., the southbound train passed the red signal at CPY-229 at a speed of 45 miles per hour. Event recorder data showed the southbound train remained in throttle position 7 and the crew took no actions to stop their train. Meanwhile, at about the same time, the northbound train passed a diverging clear signal displaying a red over green aspect at CPY-229. The diverging clear signal required that the train not exceed the prescribed speed of 40 miles per hour. Event recorder data showed that the northbound train passed the signal at 35 miles per hour. At 2.28 a.m., the two trains collided at an estimated combined closing speed of 80 miles per hour. 